it's game week four in the high five women's futsal league and our Payatas FC team are looking to stay unbeaten against fellow community-based club Gawad Kalinga. Last year Gawad Kalinga beat us in the league stage while we pipped them to third by beating them in the battle for third in the playoff round. Now as we go into game week four uh, we can see that we're just three points above so if they beat us they join us on seven points while if we beat them we open up a good sized gap uh, going into game week five and the game will kick off here Char gets us underway as Payeta Sesi will kick off the match the girls know each other really really well as some of the Gawad Kalinga players were part of the team Philippines for the Street Chair World Cup Rendell here drives forward she's one of GK's excellent prospects excellent talents she played actually on the national women's futsal team as our goalkeeper will gather the ball it's a good release from her to Ronalyn she'll bring it forward Tries to play it down the line, but it's intercepted well. Lizzie here on the ball for Gawad Kalinga. Good pass across, but Joanna's out quickly. It was a loose touch from Gawad Kalinga's winger that allowed Joanna to pounce on that ball and get there first. This is a much better pass now from Ronalyn. She fights Agot, but she tries to dribble him into the middle. Lizzie gets passed well, very well, but a shot is just straight down the middle for Joanna to save. That's two good chances now for Gawad Kalinga. Ronalyn's up there high again. She's caught out of position and Gawa Kalinga will come on the break. It's a wide shot and that's a decent save from Joanna. This is Bayatas FC's kick in. Joanna's got the ball there. She'll try and play to AJ. She's just stood still. Oh my goodness, what a terrible start for Bayatas FC. What a really bad start for us. We should be fighting for every ball and we don't like that. But now Agot can, can come back for us. She's chipped the keeper. That's really good from her. She's brought us back level straight away. And if you're going to go behind, that's the response that you want to see. Lizzie's going to drive forward for Gawad Kalinga. It's a good ball out wide. And this is the better fight we want to see. That's Ashley getting back to cover and block that shot. Ronalyn with a kick in. It's a 1-2 with Agot. She plays it into the middle. That's a nice little spin from Ashley there. She plays it to May. Bit of a tame shot at the end, but this is what we can do when we can get going, when we can start to put the passes together. Good press from May here. She forces a bit of a mistake from the goalkeeper. That's handball there from Rendell. The referee's not called it. And Gawad Kalinga will come on the counter attack. It's played down and here's Rendell. She comes inside. It's a weak shot in the end, fortunately. I mean, I would have been angry if, they, if uh, they'd scored from that. That was a clear handball. Uh, but Gawad Kalinga will they'll defend our counter attack and break again this game was so end to end as Rendell gets another shot that's a good save from Joanna and Lizzie on the follow up decent save again Joanna's kept us in the game here it's still 1-1 Gawad Kalinga will break forward Lizzie was part of Team Philippines in the Street Child World Cup so again the girls know each other very very well they're good friends off the court on the court of course they're going to fight each other Agot's going to break forward. Very good play to May, and that's a good finish. That's May's second goal of the season. That's a good finish from her. She's improved at that, and it's now Payatas 2, Gawad Kalinga 1. Gawad Kalinga coming forward, and Lizzie lays it back off for Vrendel. She'll cut inside. They're just trying to find an opening, trying to prod, trying to tease through our 2-2, our, our square. But we're not pressing properly. Um, that's one of our defenders coming out. Really, our wingers need to be higher. An excellent tackle again from Agot. She's so good at this. She's so good at nipping in to steal the ball. Her attempt just goes over. But that's what we want from Agot every game, and that's what she gives us. This time it's Ashley with the interception. She smashes the ball. That's a really good save. Gawad Kalinga's goalkeeper there. She's called Ivy. That's a solid save from her to, to keep it at 2-1 and to keep them level. Good passing. Ashley again. Oh, that's an excellent shot. Oh, and then a follow-up. Dempel hits the post again. We just hit the post twice. Now the game's a bit more even uh, and a bit more fair in a way, um, but that's so unlucky for us. Ashley again, good interception, but the shot is straight at Ivy this time. She's gonna throw it really forward there. Angela's trying to fight the ball. There's AJ getting back. That's much better than earlier. She's, if she fights like that, she can beat anyone on her day. Ashley, brilliant shot from her. She smashed that from a decent distance crack the crossbar um, now Chad's going to try and play in Dempel but Gawa Kalinga win it they're on the counter attack come across and if that was a stronger shot we might have been in trouble then so it's such an end to end game this one this was such an intense match uh, to be part of good play by Angela she's intercepted the ball drives forward another good save from Ivy 
that's half time and it's 2-1 to Payetas FC. The game is really, it's such a balanced one at the moment um, between the two teams. They're so familiar with each other. Uh, the two teams, they we've grown up playing futsal. We've grown up playing in each other's Liga GK, playing in the Fair Play Futsal League. Uh, and so not only are the girls friends, but they have very similar backgrounds like that. Good play from Char to drive down the line. Nice bit of skill, but she didn't have the support there. Gawa Kalingo will now take the ball. They're again looking to prod. They're looking to get those openings. Our defense are shaped a little better now. Uh, and to shut that down. And Agot again, she intercepts. She's through on goal. 1v1 with the keeper. Rounds her. Can't get in there. She's laid it on a plate. Char has missed that one. Another excellent chance for Payatas FC. We really want to take these chances. In futsal, one goal is not good enough for a lead. Teams can get one goal, two goals, three goals so quickly. Good drive from Lizzie, and this time AJ is there to block the shot. This is what we missed last week against Enderun. We didn't fight that shot, we didn't spot the danger well enough. And that's something we've been working on in training. <laughs> nice bit of skill from Ashley. Um, she's not going to get the return on that ball, but it was a really good attempt. It was a great idea from her uh, with that overhead kick. I got again, fight so well. Ashley cuts inside. She's trying to get the ball across. May was at the second post, ready to tap it in, but she couldn't get there. GK on the counter attack, and that pass is just a bit over hit. Very good play from Gaud Kalinga there. They've lobbed the ball forward. I got with another strong tackle. She's tried to fake it that way. She did that a few times, but now Angela's mopped that up. Oh, that's a bad tackle. She's coming from behind her. She cleaned her out, but the referee hasn't called a foul. Um, that's, that's frustrating there, the, the, that we don't get those, those decisions. Um, Ivy's going to have the goal clearance. In futsal, it's called a goal clearance. The keeper, they do it out of their hands. And um, Ronald and Angela get in each other's way. Gawa clean with the attempt here. They've got it across. Good chance. Oh, that would have been a goal. They beat the goalkeeper with the shot, but Ronalyn covered on the defence. I would have been so angry if that had gone into the goal because we had a clear foul, almost in the penalty area as well, just moments before. That shouldn't happen. Um, and this one as well, they've, they've called it for, for not being a kick-in. That should be our ball then, right? That should uh, go to the other team if they've made a mistake on a kick-in. Fortunately, Joanna's pounced on that. She's kept it level and we're just ahead still. It's still 2-1 to Payatas FC. Good break forward by Gawad Kalinga here. The shot comes in from distance, it's a bit tame uh, and we're able to clear it. Nice control from Agot, which is a bit quicker. We had 2v2 there. But that's a good pass from her. Ashley outside of the foot, just into the side netting. It was a decent attempt from her that time. Gal Kalinga trying to control again. They're, they're very good now at controlling the ball. As Agot comes inside, good pass to Ashley. Controlled. Oh, that double save from Ivy. Ashley can do better than this. We know she's better than this. But that's an excellent recovery challenge from AJ. That's a strong tackle from her to make sure that GK can't counter attack that time. Nice cheeky bit of play from, from our girls there. Agot plays it into a, a good run from Ashley. She tries to poke it in. Sometimes that'll work, sometimes it won't. Well played from them. AJ and I got good combination, but GK have come away with it. And that's an excellent tackle from Angela. It's a tough one, it's a strong one, but she won the ball cleanly. Thankfully, Rendell's okay. It's good to see that she's up and she's running straight away after that. All throughout the game, the girls were going at each other. They might be friends, but they would all want to win. Good play, nice cut inside from Agot. Lays it off for Ashley. She smashes it. This time it flies into the roof of the net. 3-1 to Payetas FC, we have daylight. We've finally taken one of those chances, one of those really good chances that we've created. Well done to the girls. Gaur Kalinga are gonna try and fight forward. It's uh, well played from them, and they'll win a kick in. Good scoop ball, bad defending from ours, and that's a nice loft over the goalkeeper. That's gonna be 3-2, and now of course they smell blood in the water. They wanna get back at us. Uh, and get that equalizer. The game's running out of time. Good bit of skill from Rendell. She smashed that just wide. Rendell again was one of the anchors, one of the central defenders for the national women's futsal team. She's improved so much. We saw her improve from a relatively timid um, girl who, who couldn't control the ball every time well enough. As Ashley's gonna steal in there, 4-2, she's gonna She's going to secure the game for Payata Sesi right at the dead. That's lovely to see the, the girls celebrating that. Everyone involved in that one. 
Uh, Ashley's done well and Ashley beat Brendel there who I was explaining there was in the national women's futsal team from before and she's improved so much she's played so intensely trained so intensely that she deserved her position throughout she did so well on that one uh, she's showing there why she cleaned up that one she swept it up um, they're gonna come in good defending from us now you can see the fight from our girls you see those blocks you see them sliding in uh, to stop the shots that's much much better from us now <laughs> and that's an obvious handball and this is the girl actually who, who took out Agot from behind so this maybe should have been the second yellow card but uh, you know the, the girls are just gonna lose their head a little bit sometimes it's, it's getting to the end of the game just a little bit of frustration they're showing there and it's, it's very very normal Gawit Kalinga have had a really good game so far and they've been a bit unlucky at times there's gonna be the full-time whistle and now you see the girls friends again straight away straight away in there with the hugs the congratulations, all of the girls are really improving and it's worth saying that most of this team from Gaudi Kalinga earned college scholarships. Uh, some of them are looking for senior high school scholarships but just like our Payatas FC girls, it's developing the talents from the grass grassroots community. It's developing the girls who who play on the streets, who play in the rough courts everywhere in small-sided games and really develop that way year after year after year and they have that skill on the ball. So that was probably our most intense game of the entire league season this so far and we're very fortunate in some ways to come out with the win. You can see here now that we're on 10 points, still second in the league. We'll be up against Toloi and Azuri B next. So this was a huge win for Bayatas FC. Uh, Gawad Kalinga, they're on four points now, but they've shown that they can hang with the best. They'll have some easier fixtures coming up, uh, and we expect it's not gonna be as easy as it looks. We're looking for that top four position. We're looking for semi-finals and hopefully finals. Uh, and next week, we'll be up against number one. So it'll be first against second, as we'll be up against Toloi FC to, to look at who's gonna take charge of this league season. Check in for that next week, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff as we look to show how we can create a fair shot for all our kids from all our communities within the Philippines. The talents are here, let's show them.